What motivates me to become a plastic surgeon? Well, that's to answer that question, you really need to go back into my background. So I am son of a surgeon who is also the son of a surgeon who is the son of a surgeon. So our family medical history goes way, 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 way back. I have both Australian and Chinese heritage, so I'm kind of uniquely and modern Australian as well. So with that medical background, I almost had no choice but to enter into medical training. And um, But the thing that really got to me when through my medical training was the restoration in lives that I saw in Johannesburg, South Africa. So I was a very busy trauma and burns unit. And that's when I got my first taste that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to help people to restore lives as well. So after that, I ended up getting onto Australian training. It's a highly selective training program and went through all of the Australian training program and then even went overseas to both New York and to Cambridge in the UK where I did a microsurgical fellowship. So now it's actually come full circle. Well, I'm the one who's actually training the young surgeons of the future, developing microsurgical courses and training the surgeons of the future like I've also been trained by my mentors. But where it all really comes together, essentially, is with you. It's with patient care. And that's actually what floats my boat, makes me happy, helps me get up in the morning to try and help patients like you and to restore lives. So whether I'm restoring lives with complicated reconstruction or helping people feel like they're in better balance with their overall body and shape with aesthetic surgery, for me, it's all part of the one same spectrum.